back to South Pole Diecast. I'm Scott. Today we got something a little different. This is a kit that was uh, 3D printed by a guy named Ryan at over on Instagram at Retro Redlines. He does a lot of 3D printed parts for diecast cars and he started doing these kits. And these kits are modeled after the Zoe's that were produced by Hot Wheels. I believe it was for like a Shell gas station promotion. They made about six or seven different models. And this is what he's modeled them after, the size and everything. And the detail is outstanding. Um, he has one of those resin 3D printers, which are superior 3D printers with detail as opposed to the filament 3D printers. And you can actually see the door handles, the lines for the door, the headlights, the marker lights underneath. Um, over here, I don't know if you can see this. Look at this. You can actually see the tiny little steering wheel. You can actually see the three spokes in the middle of the steering wheel. And on back, there's even like the exhaust and part of the motor showing. Now this is modeled after the beach bomb, the Hot Wheel beach bomb. So I figured I would go ahead and get this thing painted and get it assembled and see what we got. Also right here, he sends the axles and the wheels. Now these wheels, they are, they are like Hot Wheel red line wheels but now they're all black but there are the rims in the middle but they're not painted and when zoe's came out back in 72 the the wheels were all black just like those so i'm going to keep it you know as stock as possible on that so stay tuned everybody okay so here we are at the paint booth and i got a couple coats of the tamaya surface primer on it so trying to get it prepped for paint stay tuned Okay, so here we have the base of the Zoe Beach Bomb, and I got it painted and got the wheels installed, and I added, as you can see, a little black to the steering wheel, and then I chromed the uh, front bumper, and then the rear bumper and the engine, and stay tuned. Okay, so here we are back at the paint booth with the Beach Bomb Zoe and decided to go with like a Spectra Flame style red paint job. And yes, there is overspray as you can see, but it's very hard because they're so tiny and the tape really doesn't want to stick well when the bodies are made of plastic. But that's again, that's, that's fine because that can easily be fixed. So how I did it was I found this Krylon chrome looking paint and then I went over with the metal cast by Duplicolor and it turned out really well so stay tuned everyone okay here's my finished little beach bomb Zoe that I did from retro red lines and it turned out good I'm happy with it uh, my tape job is less desirable um, I need to practice on that, but it was a fun kit. It's the kit's very detailed, and the nice thing is, is these could be really good for the younger kids to get involved, as well as adults that maybe don't have the resources for all the power tools and the drills and everything that you need. And then, of course, these are easier for the young kids to get involved in the hobby and they can do it with mom and dad um they got nice little uh mag wheels as you can see that look just like the red lines uh the paint goes on really good on the plastic um i again i had a blast with it i thought i think they're cool i like small things like this and you can get these uh over on Instagram, if you contact Ryan, and his Instagram is at Retro Redlines. And he makes, I'm thinking he makes about four or five styles 
of these Zoe's and I have three more I'm going to build and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shoot videos of every one that I build you know for the for the young kids and family friendly video so to speak and let them get involved in the hobby so that's my first try at it I love it and I can't wait to do another one so if you like this video hit like and hit subscribe and let your kids watch this video they'll enjoy it